Welcome to Yoga for Patients. I've always been complimented for my patients as if it is some kind of innate quality that I was lucky enough to be born with. But patience is not a predetermined quality that we either have or don't. It's a skill that we can all cultivate. It is a muscle we can flex. Patience requires mindful attention and practice. And the benefits of developing this virtue can be truly life-changing. Science-backed studies have shown that patient people enjoy better mental health, more fulfilling relationships, and improved physical health. So let's take some time to work on increasing our patience through the practice of yoga. You may find it useful to have a yoga block, a folded up blanket, or a cushion handy as a prop for this class. Find a comfortable seat with legs crossed or extended and gently bring your eyes to close. Let's begin to slowly spiral inward. First, focus your awareness on the environment around you. Listen to the sounds. Notice how the temperature feels on your skin. And just sit here, recognizing the space around you. Now bring your attention to your body. Just scan yourself from your toes all the way up to your head. Observe how you feel in all of the different parts of your body. Witness the natural ebb and flow of your breath. Watch the breath breathing itself. Now shift your focus to your thoughts. Allow them to come and go without judgment. Let them flow as they do and appreciate any moments of clarity when your mind is at ease. Now bring your attention to your heart space. Say a prayer of gratitude for it all, all of the parts of yourself and all of the parts of your human experience. Take this moment to set an intention for your practice today. A short mantra, or even just one word. For example, I usually set my intention to surrender or to breathe. A word to come back to during the challenging moments of your practice. Take a deep, slow breath in. Hold it for a moment. And now slowly exhale, emptying your lungs completely as you flutter your eyes open. Okay, let's warm up. Begin to draw oxygen into your nostrils as you raise your arms to shoulder height with your palms facing towards the front of the room. Broaden through the chest and open your arms wide while opening your heart. As you exhale, wrap your arms around your front body, rounding through the spine, and grab your opposite shoulders. Let's repeat this a few more times, coordinating our breath with the motion. Fill your lungs while you mindfully spread your arms open wide, squeezing your shoulder blades together, and look up at the sky. Empty your body of breath fully with each exhale. This exercise helps to train our body to connect our breathing with the movement. It's a wonderful way to start out your practice with some self-love. Float your arms back down to, into your lap, palms facing up to receive, or palms can be facing down to become more grounded. Let's move into a seated forward bend. Begin in staff pose with your legs extended. 
root through the sits bones and press your heels away from your body to flex your feet. Inhale and reach for the sky. Really reach up high, lengthening on the sides of your body. Now begin to hinge forward from the waist as you exhale, reaching for your toes. Now take a breath here and as you exhale, see if you can fold a little more deeply. We'll rest here for several breaths, opening up space in the entire back body. Breathe in and as you exhale, surrender to the stretch. Release completely. Allow the head to hang heavy. This pose is meant to calm a distracted mind. So take the next few deep breaths to allow your mind to empty. On your next inhale, engage your core as you walk your hands back toward your body, returning to staff pose. Let's move into table pose, coming onto your hands and knees with a neutral spine, preparing for cat cow. Your wrist should be under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Gaze on the floor in between your fingers and spread them wide. As you draw breath into your nostrils, begin to drop your belly and lift your chin toward the ceiling as you arch your back. Exhale and slowly tuck the chin to your chest as you round through the spine, press your hands into the earth and empty your body of breath. Repeat. Again, we are linking the breath with the body and this cat-cow. Breathe in and drop your belly. And then breathe out, rounding the spine, emptying your lungs of all the oxygen. Return to table pose and then inhale and look over your right shoulder as you wag your tail to the right. Exhale and repeat on the other side, turning your gaze past your left shoulder and wagging your tail to the left. Continue breathing and moving side to side for a few breaths like this, gently opening up the side body. Now return to table. Extend your right leg out behind you and tuck your toes. Begin to rock forward and backward, stretching out the back of your legs. You can move slowly and don't forget to breathe. Let's repeat on the other side. Extend your left leg and tuck your toes. And now begin to gently rock forward and backward, opening up the back leg and your feet. Come back to table, take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, sit back onto your heels. Engage your abdominal muscles and extend your tailbone down. Inhale and lift your arms up overhead. Bring your palms together. Exhale your prayer hands down in front of heart center. Bring your elbows together and interlace your fingers. Slowly roll your wrists from side to side. Breathe and move organically. Or roll circles forward and backward with your wrists. Just taking a moment to stretch out our wrists you can separate your hands and flick your fingers. Make your way back to table. Adjust so that your knees are under your hips and your wrists are under your shoulders. Look down between your hands to keep the back and the neck long. Your fingers are strong. Your middle finger points to the top of the mat and your thumbs should face one another. Tuck your toes and activate your core as you lift your knees one inch off the mat. Exhale and hold. Now with your knees bent, begin to push your palms into the mat until your belly touches your thighs. Now we're ready to extend our legs. 
Imagine there is a golden thread pulling your tailbone up toward the ceiling and check in with your alignment. Your legs are extended. Your fingers should be doing a lot of work here. Don't just rely on your wrists to hold you up. Lift your armpits forward and keep your ears between your biceps. Lengthen through the sides of the body. Breathe in through your nostrils and open your mouth wide to exhale. Keep your hands in place and now walk your feet out past hip distance apart. They can be parallel to the outsides of the mat. Now walk your hands back toward your body. You're in a separate leg stretch. Allow your head to hang heavy here. You can rest your hands on a block in front of you for additional support or place your hands flat on the floor, shoulder width apart. Begin to stretch your torso forward and fold deeper, bringing your head closer to the floor. Heel toe your feet towards one another, coming back into downward facing dog. And then lower your knees gently and slowly back to the floor. If you have sensitivity in your knees, take a moment to grab a blanket, fold it up and place it underneath them. Now extend your right leg behind you and tuck your toes. On your next inhale, squeeze your buttocks and your thigh muscles on your right leg and lift it up so that it's parallel to the floor. Press through your heel to the wall behind you. Now extend your left hand forward with your thumb pointing skyward. Point the toes of the extended leg down to square your hips. Imagine that you're balancing a teacup on the small of your back. Focus your gaze on the floor beneath you. Breathe in and reach through your fingers and your toes. Take a few breaths here, focusing on balance and see if you can lift your arm and your leg a little higher. Slowly lower back down to table. Let's repeat on the other side. Stretch your left leg out behind you. And then on your inhale, lift your leg so that it's parallel to the floor. Press through the heel to the wall behind you. And then on your next breath in, raise your right arm. Make sure your hips are square and your gaze is on the floor in front of you. This is called balancing table. And it's a really good practice because it reminds you to slow down and steady yourself and helps to improve your patience. Return to table, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, sit back onto your heels. Let's pause for a few neck rolls. Gently drop your chin to your chest to feel a nice stretch in the back of your neck. Breathe in and roll your left ear to your left shoulder. Exhale, roll back to center. Let's repeat on the other side. Inhale and roll your right ear to your right shoulder. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale and lift your head back up. Feel free to shake out your wrists a little if you need to. And then make your way back to a seated position with your knees bent and your feet planted firmly on the mat in front of you, hip distance apart. Lean back slightly and lift your feet. This is boat pose, Navasana. Now for some fun, let's try a double toe hold. Draw your knees close to your torso. Reach your hands in between your legs and hold onto your big toes 
by creating a loop with your thumbs, index fingers, and middle fingers. Draw your low back toward your legs. Then lift your chest and lengthen the front of your torso. Balance on your sit bones, keeping your spine straight. Take care not to let your lower back sag or your chest collapse. Slowly begin to straighten your legs as much as possible. Eventually, bring your body into a V-shape. Keep your spine long and straight. If you feel your back rounding, stop straightening your legs. Lengthen the front of your torso from your pubic bone to the top of your sternum. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Focus your gaze and find your drishti. If you're comfortable here, perhaps tilt your head back slightly to open your throat. This pose is challenging and may be a little messy when you first start out, but like all things, if you keep at it, it will get easier. Slowly release your feet back to the floor, one at a time, and then find your way onto your back, resting your hands on either side of your body Inhale and lift your arms over your head, stretching behind you while your feet stretch out in front of you. Take a deep breath in here and then on your next exhale, bring your arms back down on either side of you. Close your eyes and begin to focus on your breath. On your next inhale, see if you can stretch it out to a slow count of four and then exhale to a count of six. Let's try it. Breathe in one, two, three, four. Pause and hold your breath. Then exhale six, five, four, three, two, one. Repeat that to yourself for a few more cycles of breath at that pace. When we extend our breath, we extend our presence. Breathing while in silent observation opens a window for us to become more conscious of the rhythms of life. Lay here and witness your breath. Observe all the tiny sensations throughout your body as you're laying here in stillness. Watch as your thoughts swirl into and out of existence instead of connecting with the constant movement and constant thought connect with your own observer within let us honor the passage of time set an intention to move with patience and purpose through the rest of your day namaste if you enjoyed this video please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel.